All right, Dr. Wynn here. I want to talk to you about this relatively straightforward extraction case that came in recently. Tooth number 19, carries to bone, furcation involvement, and a tiny sliver of tooth connecting the mesial and distal roots. There's an active infection happening here as well. So we go over risk benefits alternatives in detail, patient elects extraction. So here you can see a gingival overgrowth on the mesial aspect of number 19. Now for me personally, if I cannot see what I'm doing, I need to make sure that I can see what I'm doing. So I go ahead and remove that diseased gingival overgrowth with a scalpel. And after I remove it, I see that the cavity drives very deep. So I bring out a surgical handpiece and then just section the tooth in half. Now I don't have to section very much because it's only the mesial root and the distal root are hanging by a thread. But I do need to section it in that way instead of forcing it through with uh, any other instrument. So here I start elevating off the distal to remove the distal root. But I notice here that the crown is incredibly gummy. It's the, the section of that tooth is much gummier than I expected at first. So I go ahead and use the elevator to make sure that the mesial and distal root are separated. And then I start elevating the distal section now, and I'm getting pretty good movement here, but for some reason it's hanging up just just a little bit. So in order to see a little bit better, I grab the rongeurs and, re and remove the coronal aspect. This coronal aspect is not helping me whatsoever, it's just obscuring my view. So we remove that out, and then we pull out the east-west, and I go ahead and elevate the distal root out. And after the distal root is completely out, we can make quick work of the mesial root. And then we grab the other east-west and elevate that right out. Okay, and then we curatage very well, irrigate very well, make sure all that granulation tissue is out. And then we go ahead and suture and place some gel foam. Go ahead and eventually remove that little extra suture material on the mesial lingual there. And then that's pretty much it. Nice and clean. All right, thanks for watching. Now, I also want to say that this by no means is a recommendation on how you should approach your extractions. It's just how I approach this particular one. And I thank you all for watching.